Hey, it's Unknown What's RC, and guess what? The level 120 capes are finally out. So, in this video, we'll show you guys how they look, but I will also talk about the history behind them. So, the very first cape I got is cooking. So, what happened, long story short, is that after getting 99 in everything, I was kind of pissed off by dungeon ring. So, what I decided to do instead of going for comp cape is train cooking all the way to 200 million experience. And it was kind of fun because my very first level 99 was also cooking, and I wanted it to be my first 200 million experience too. So, what I trained is um, with rock tails all the way to 200 million experience. So, I wasn't really rich back then. So I couldn't really afford wines, um, so I did rock tails, and I made a lot of profit with rock tails actually, because their price were really unstable, so I could buy low and sell high. Pretty much made 100 million GP out of my 200 million experience in cooking, so that's really cool. And then once I got my cape, I decided to go for comp cape, and this is why I got my 120 dungeon ring cape. I still don't have um, 200 million experience in cook and um, in dungeon ring, mainly because I wanted to be with delis, and currently I'm doing delis with divination, so that's why um, I'm not training that much dungeon ring anymore. But long story short, I guess that you guys have probably seen this cape many many times, but I've never actually bought it before today. So I went to my personal own house trying to it out and it wasn't there so it turned out I never actually bought it <laughs> so I visited the um, the Omadem and bought it um, to talk and there it is um, I've never actually done the emotes for it that's one thing emote emote right there um, so there it is yeah probably nothing special <laughs> <laughs> for you guys, um, but for me, it's the first time I've actually done this emote. So let's move on to the other one range cape. So after getting my um comp cape, I guess, um, I decided to go away from keyboard. I think I was playing Path of Exile and I wanted to be away from keyboard. So what I did is train a range at the Abyss with Red and Chumpa all the way to about 100 million experience, a bit more because I got the cape and. Yeah, lots of fun. Nothing too exciting about training range except like those um, <laughs> lower that comes and tell you to teleport away or whatever. It's really crazy what people can say when they are trying to lure you. I've pretty much seen every lure possible for the Abyss. And after training range for many, many hours in the Abyss, what I did is train magic in the abyss, so exactly the same thing, except that I was using blood barrage, I think, and pretty much exactly the same concept. I preferred mage, to be honest, because you don't have to pray soul split, because you're using blood magic, so you don't have to use um, many prayer potion, so your trips long last longer, and it's even more away from keyboard than range. So I got about 150 million experience in magic. Uh, once again, lots of fun, lots of lore. That's pretty much the only entertaining part that happened. Um, and yeah, one sad part about range and magic is that I... Uh, while, while training in the Abyss, you get a lot of effigies, but because I was so away from keyboard, I didn't get many effigies. Um, like <laughs> it's kind of sad when you check like your adventure log and it says that you have gotten like 10 effigies but you never actually pick them up um, so yeah that's the story behind um, range and magic and after that I got fletching cape and fletching is very special because in total I've pretty much spent maybe a week training fletching so in a week I got 130 million experience in fletching so the story behind it is that I only fletch, well I fletch from time to time, but I fletch during the bonus XP weekend and I fletch like crazy, like you guys have been able to see during the last bonus XP weekend. So I got like 60 million experience in fletching in 3 days um, of the first bonus XP weekend and then on the last bonus XP weekend I also got something like 60 mil or even more than that, so that's why I got 120 
<laughs> that's kind of fun. And in the other end, Divination, so my last 120, so there's only like 60 people who can wear this cape um, right now. So Divination, I've been training it for a very long time. Actually, since the release, I've been training it actively, doing the daily challenge and everything. So it's a very long skill to train. And since I'm not buying spins or anything like that, it's very slow. Uh, I don't have that much bonus XP weekend. The only bonus XP key weekend comes from the daily spins and stuff. So I've been working easily couple, not couple, but more than 1000 hours on this cape. So I'm really proud of it. And I do plan to continue training Divination until I get 200 million experience. And hopefully I will be second page if everything goes well. So there it is. Um, one thing is when I train Divination, I, you, I normally wear my, um, my outfit. I got the full Divination outfit. I'm, I was kind of lucky to get it all. Um, but yeah, the outfit kind of clips through the cape. Normally what people do is they use the... Um, Dragon Keepsake box or something like that. Move. <laughs> um, so yeah, they normally use something like that so they can change their appearance, but I've never bought them. So I cannot really use them, but whatever. And when you move, anyway, it looks like this, if you're wondering. So there's the little trail. So for cooking, this is how it looks. So it's a red trail for Dungeon Ring, Black Trail, Range, Orange, and Magic, Blue, and finally Fletching, it's Golden. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it about this video, I hope you liked it. And another skill I'm very close to get 120 is um, Cooking, so I only need 1 million experience in Cooking in order to get the Cape, so that's probably what I will do in the next days. So we'll stop training Divination, train a little bit of wood cutting, get the 120 cape and then come back to Divination. So I hope you like this little video and see ya!